So hey guys, welcome back in Kuri Bangla Bharti and in this video, we are going to create the player database with our Firebase, okay? So, this is our database, the Firebase real-time database. So first of all, we need to learn some logics of the real-time database. So the real-time database is, you find the kind of like this. So, you can add some name, kind of like, uh, as a double jad, a digital jad and subjad have just thing, subjad have uh, some kind of like uh, $10,000 okay or uh, one thousand dollar okay so i can add this thing so this this is my database okay that this is my money so we need to create we want that same system in our unreal engine so we can basically executing this thing we can get this reference okay so first of all for creating this thing we need a ui that is our ui uh, 3 okay so ui 3 so at the ui 3 what will we do First of all, let's add a text. Okay. The text will be help us to display our value that how much dollar we have. It's kind of like uh, $1,000 or kind of like how much dollar we have. For now, uh, for seeing goodly, let's add $750. Okay. So, yeah, it's good. So, let's make this thing something more bigger. So, 45. So, it should look nice. Let's set the gravity to right side. Let's okay. So also we need to come in our third person, and with begin play we need to connect it this UI. So let's give it like here. Let's give another pin, and let's do the same thing. Okay, that duplicate connect it with this thing. Set it the UI three. Also we want to promote a variable, so set it to UI data okay so with the UI data we'll also add the viewport so we can basically copy the same system and paste it at here some simply just connect with the data okay so here our UI is now connected with our data uh, with our player okay so first of all we need to also learn the logics of the Firebase component so at here as they say that for saving any data we need to first of all uh, say uh, get uh, IN intense the or uh, IN I don't know what is I, I I always call this you know better than me the English so however then we need to get a reference then the child okay that is the basically the user that is the basically whatever we add here the name that is basically the user so then we have the user index so that's me instead of that user we can add another data that is great and then we can save the child the whatever is our data okay so now let's create the same system but we want that uh, money system in okay so let's add a button for now for adding that money so let's give it that um, text uh, let's say the text that for now okay that save okay i think for now it's look great yeah now let's go to on click this button so on click this button what you need to do first of all we need that get this one for set the value so let's set to uh, set a uh, value so as you can see there is a uh, set value in mutable in this connection okay and there's uh, some more of available so let's set to database database and here you find the uh, database that said uh, uh, there's a get value so we want that set a uh, value mm, priority set a value okay there's uh, some different types of uh, data values i'm confusing okay get a uh, get a database reference okay which can have data value um let's say this one's not not this one's as you can see we need the database value Mm, this is a for value okay it will be work <clears throat> okay so from that we need a oh that is a disconnection handler uh, we don't need the disconnection handler set value mm, set a value it should be work yep that is the main one okay so in our button will be get uh, child okay so chi or if it's not coming so you can search here the child so from the database you can get a child okay <coughs> <coughs> so get the child why that everything is not coming goodly so or child child 
I'm not sure where is that the child data oh my god database database um, get the child um, oh we can also get from get ins tier intense then from that we can get chi uh, get uh, sorry sorry get child reference there should be reference that is a get uh, reference from that get reference okay we can get the child okay child get the child okay so that is that's that's what we are looking so now we connected this thing instead of the child so let's give it that for now uh, so jad okay for now for example and say it you can say uh, set the user index so let's set it to that user index that is one and then we need that value which we want to save that is uh to dollar or uh, let's give it that mo n e y money okay also make sure that you do it properly okay so as you can see they also uh at here we need to create the same uh sorry sorry guys there's a call coming So at the money, uh, we also need to create the same. So create a variable that M O N E Y money. But make sure guys that is the same name and make sure that is a string. So we can basically save the data at here. Okay. So that is basically our string data. How much money we want to save? Okay. So <clears throat> and then as you can see, we can set the value. Okay, that is our username at this position will be save our data. So that is our basically the value okay as you can see so we can now get this thing and connect it with this thing so it will automatically convert the value this string into a value okay so we can now connect it this database now let's compile and save okay so now we can save any data so for now let's set it to uh, how much we thinking that uh, um, why is the dollar i can go okay so that uh, 520 uh, 520 dollar and let's set it to on event construct okay now compile and saved <clears throat> now let's click on play so it should be uh, send the data let's try in our database what's the data come so as you can see there is a no data is update if there's any data database it should become so let's also try to click with the refresh <coughs> So as you can see there's a no data works so now let's try to uh if it's set let's create a print string that hello that yeah it's mean that okay yeah uh, it's done okay let's come play so as you can see uh it's not this thing it's mean that there's an error or something problem let's see that what is the basically error if there's any error so two s3 r to string bytes so we can understand are there's any error oh guys because uh, we need to also display the player data <clears throat> okay like with any keyboard so less for displaying the key uh, our okay we can maybe uh, let's use that <clears throat> m keyboard for money because m is for money yeah so we'll be do the same thing this duplicate and simply connected m with this one and now remove this thing and set the UI data 3 connect it with this thing okay so now we can basically see our the database number 3 so now as, as you can see now let's say, click on save the data as you can see it's a hello it's mean the data has been sent in our database so as you can see in our subject folder and there's a one value come and there's a money is 512 okay so guys we successfully send it did first our data so we can also change this data into a money okay a kind of like <clears throat> if i go in my now ui3 and i can set it to category so it's kind of like a category so let's say that uh money have or uh, the money data So in, inside of the money data, we can basically, we are basically saving the money. Okay, 
adds the money position how much money we earn to save we can save the same so if i click on play again and let's place am and click on saved it says saved or hello and as you can see <coughs> at our money data so it's our saving that money 512 okay that is now in our money category okay <coughs> now basically we want to also get how much data we have we want to get from the database so how so for getting that so as you can see for reactiving that data we want that gale child uh the reference okay and then get the ch uh, value okay so what you need to do from the child okay so get a uh, child uh, or get re reference okay from the path so from the path is basically our money path what is our value in our money position we want that data reference okay so then we need that uh, get the value okay so then get a value and then we can basically connect it with our event ticks okay so let's connect it with our event ticks that how much we have also let's set this thing in as a variable so we can basically control that so at here let's set set txt that is our text box and if that data has been received so from this snapshot we can get a value and the value will be connected with our also from that we need to say uh, to a to text so you can convert it to in a string so we can basically it's convert in a text okay so as as you can see this snapshot uh, that is uh, basically the data okay now and then also i said to is val is valid or not if that is a valid then it should be do or it not should be do okay now compile and save now let's click on play and let's click on m so as you can see uh, the data has been become um, not working okay 700 and showing that empty okay now let's again um, let me try again saved hello it should be display the data some of cases i don't know why that path is not working okay let's set it to it should be money at the money position it should be work that is a get uh, child reference uh, snapshot get database squads <clears throat> oh let's try to use from the reference No, 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 it's not working from that child. C H I L D get. Nope, it's not working also. Let's give it try to add a money position. Let's see what's happened. I fixed that uh, some of. Now let's try again with M. Now empty again. <clears throat> Let's try with Sajjad category. Now, okay, guys, so let me fix this thing, okay? And in the next video will be see. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you all. Bye bye. See you in the next video.